Hello, my name is Carlos Agreja. I made a video about combining the J Developer project with the NetBeans project. I made a direct when I did the directory, the application directory, I, um, and had a project folder inside an application directory. So this is how the J Developer works. Here you have your application, and then you can have your projects inside your application. So how I do it is I just don't really use the application just to pull up. I just use it to pull up the actual project. So if I click here and I pull up Elgui here, it pulls up my Elgui project, and that's how I work with it. And then I'll have my UMLs and all of that. So basically, yeah, that's it. Um, and that's how I'm gonna. I want it to work. I want all basically with this video. I'm just gonna put everything in one folder. So it's gonna have the application and both projects in one folder. And the purpose of that is when I upload to GitHub, it's all in one directory. Because uh, I had issues with the two directories, the application folder. It's just complicated. Doesn't work very well. So yeah, this is the purpose. If you're if you want to know the same thing, uh, that's what I'll be doing in this video. So. I'm going to uh, copy this. So I have a GitHub here. Okay, and it looks like I already got the project I want to use right here, the NetBeans project. And I'm going to take this project and combine that with a J Developer project. So I'm going to put JD, just some empty folder. All right, go over to J Developer, create a new application. And I'm going to do a UML application and browse over to that. Let's see, where am I? I'm inside the folder, the GitHub, and this JD. Double click that, it will automatically bring you here. You can, I, uh, I'm just going to control C this, just copy that. And because I want it needs to be the same as the project folder for my NetBeans and it will add it right in that folder once you add it right there and hit next and so that that's the important because you want to have it the same if you're going to do this, uh, have them in the same folder and it's going to get rid of this and it will point to the same folder since it has the same name it's going to point right here in the same directory and finish it will create that I got a import source, so it's highlighted. I got the project highlighted there. I'm gonna go over here to import, get that Java source code, point to the NetBeans project source code, and for me, it's right outside that fo that J Developer project that I am. Uh, I'm gonna double click that. I'll add it right there. It's going to add it inside my J Developer. Click OK, and just, uh, a couple of seconds there, and looks good to me. Going to go ahead and run this, and point to the run file, which is right here. Hit OK. Hit OK. And looks good. Here it is. Has no dependencies, so I can't log in or anything. But it runs. That's great. Um, now, speaking of dependencies, I need to go get that NetBeans project. So I have my NetBeans project here. Um, I'm gonna need most of this. Okay, there we go. Had the wrong shortcut there. So I'm selecting everything. Um, I'm not going to need the source. Oh. Control A, Control, and exclude the source because that was already imported. And I believe a few of the resources, but I'll just overwrite it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. I'm going to copy that. Um, I need this lib folder, so. 
I'm going to go over here and go in here and so let's see what we have here. We have the classes because we compiled has a source and okay create a log text <sighs> it'll probably tell me there's a conflict with the log text and um, I'll just replace actually and that's it so now I have them all in one directory as you can see the JPR is there the JWS dot, the dot data um, everything is here so it runs um, go, I'm, I'm gonna put to these uh, libraries to finish up here I'm just going to uh, go over to properties project properties and f go to it should be libraries and class path and add jar pointed out live my well for me I have a lib folder and all this one has is the uh, MySQL connector which allows me to connect to the database so and, and I guess I'll run it that's all I really have left here and there it is uh, hopefully the uh, server is not down been having trouble with the server And I'll, oh, okay, log uh, connection successful, so it looks good. And I'll go over to NetBeans and pull up that directory. I'm going to close this. There it is. Um, open a new project or open project, and that will be inside this folder. Uh, there's the project, transport it over there and that J developer directory so we're gonna um, a couple things I want to do here just give us a quick run though make sure that's all right okay yeah that looks good it's running um, now there's a couple things I want to do I want to exclude dot data file I believe that should be it. Oh, and a server file. So I'm going to go over here and open this. This dot data file, I don't want to track that. I'm going to tell Git to ignore that. And I'll add it to the Git ignore. You can see this is grayed out. And that will gray out in a second. There it is. And our silver, it's like a silver color. So this has been modified. It's been added to that. And there is. If you go into classes when you compile, there's a dot here as well. Yeah, I think I'll uh, ignore that as well. And there it is. Now I, I'm not really certain about that dot data. It's uh, it doesn't it. I th believe it has to do with the application. It it works fine. I downloaded this from GitHub after uh, uploading it, uh, the zip, and ran it, and it worked just fine. I believe it's a user uh, thing, but it's, so it's it's just gonna always be changed and using it because I'm using this on GitHub. It's not something that really should be tracked. It's just going to cause uh, unnecessary conflicts. Um, and the if I go over to this database, I don't want to include this file here. It basically copies everything from the source, and this is servers. And I don't want that to include that with GitHub. So I'm going to go over to Git, ignore. I'm going to ignore that and add that to uh, that ignore as well. And uh, I think that's it that I want as far as implementing this and uh, getting it over to GitHub. So we got some green files here, obviously. Um, gonna go ahead and commit all that. Now, I previously already up, uh, updated with the master and everything, so make sure there's no conflicts. And uh, what I want to do is commit everything. Uh, and it should look good. Just a real quick run through here 
Let's see if anything pops out that's, that I might have missed. No, that looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to commit this. Uh, yeah. Uh, they, they get ignored, not checking the log text. Um, and server uh, the XML files. I had to do this for other applications as well. Uh, and that should look good. I'm going to commit that, every file up there. Oh well, I'm going to push it. Just committing it right now. Go ahead and uh, push that up to my repository. So push. And that's the one. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. And going to here's my GitHub and uh this branch is five commits ahead. I'm gonna give this a refresh. Six commits ahead now. Take a look at my commits. Uh last one was implement. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna do a pull request and that should be fine able to merge and uh, I'm gonna go ahead with this pull request um, and let's see just let them know developer uh, implemented and alright so this will work and go ahead and do that and that's it um... so i'm all set here uh... hopefully that was helpful um... thanks for watching